What big time professional fisherman carries the most fishing rods in his boat? <laughs> April 14, April 14, we're going to be looking at John 6, 20. Jesus said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. It is I, do not be afraid. Isn't that amazing? I guarantee you, it is I, do not be afraid. Uh, if I remember right, he was walking on the water when he said that. They thought it was a ghost. He said, it is I, do not be afraid. Walking on the water. Have you ever tried that? Golly, I've tried it a few times when no one is looking. I've never been able to do it. I once heard a guy tell his buddy about his day fishing with Tommy Biffle. And Tommy Biffle is the answer to the guy that carries the most fishing rods in his boat. Now, perhaps Brian Thrift carries more on his deck during a tournament than Tommy. But, boy, I'm telling you, Tommy will have 50 or 60 rods in his bass boat. Now, most of us will carry 20 or 25, you know. I mean, we'll carry a lot. But Tommy will have easily double more than anybody else, triple more than most guys. This buddy was telling his friend, this guy was telling his friend about fishing with Tommy Biffle. And here's what he said. He put his bait in places we wouldn't even think of throwing in. He could have been talking about any of the top-line pro fishermen. They have the ability and confidence to attempt and make just about any cast. I'm going to read that again because there's something really critical in there. They have the ability and confidence to attempt and make just about any cast. You know, the really important thing about what I said there is confidence. You can develop the ability to be a really good caster, but you have to have the confidence that you can make that cast. And you can make that cast in critical situations, like in the middle of a big time bass tournament. If you learn to cast like this, you'll definitely start catching more bass. Can I tell you that you don't have to get as good as Tommy Biffle? Uh, you can become a better caster and start catching more fish no matter how long you've been fishing, no matter how, what your ability is right now, you can learn to become better. And, but you have to try to learn to become better. I think the way to do that is you know, throwing at a target of some sign when you're not fishing. Another way to do it, of course, is to go fishing a whole lot more. And the more you fish and the more you practice your casting, the better you're going to become. Absolutely no doubt about it. I cannot throw, I cannot cast as good as I could in, when I was younger. Uh, I just can't throw as good as I used to. Uh, I guess it, I don't know what it is, but I just can't throw. I can still throw pretty well. <laughs> and I can put baits in places that... Uh, that a lot of people can't, but I can't really put them in the places quite as consistently as I used to could. Now, if I get in some of these casting contests, like we did actually this year, uh, get in some of these casting contests, I bear down and I really try harder. When I'm out just fishing for the fun of it, I don't make nearly as good a cast. But when I really bear down and try hard, I can still cast pretty well, but not near as good as I used to. As we go about our day-to-day -day affairs, we all face seemingly impossible situations from time to time. What gives me the confidence to go ahead and cast when these impossible situations comes along? What gives me that confidence? My confidence is in Jesus and in my close personal relationship with Him. He has always seen me through the many problem times in the past, and He's not done yet. He's not done yet. So when I face those impossible situations in life, when you face those impossible situations in life, if you've got a close, strong, personal relationship with Jesus Christ, you just absolutely know that he's going to see you through in those times. Why? Because he's done it before. Don't be afraid. It is I. That's what Jesus says to each and every one of us when we face those impossible situations. Wow. What a God we trust in. Here's a tip for today. Oh, this is a great one. Ties right in. Imagine that. <laughs>
guy that wrote this book must have been thinking long about that time. I know him, he doesn't think very often. <laughs> Learn to pitch and flip into those really tough spots. And can I tell you, if you learn to flip, which is kind of a dying art nowadays, if you learn to flip, you can do that more accurately than you can to pitch. And learning to pitch is easier to do, and we've got videos teaching you how to pitch. That's as easy as falling in love. That's how easy that is. Learning to flip is more difficult. You've got a lot of things going on. But if you will learn to flip, you can get into those really, really, really difficult spots. Hey guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. It's a great spring day just all over the world. I love you. <laughs>